In this episode of Off Good Ireland podcast, we chat Dr. Anne McCluskey. We talk about her experience with the health service executive, her suspension. We talk about virus theory. We talk about uh, the pandemic response and its impacts. Um, this interview is too spicy for YouTube. So this is just um, a short clip and you can get the full interview in the description on Spotify and on BitChute. Thank you very much, guys, for all the support. Please like, share and subscribe. Entry. And that there's an intermediate goal for 2030. And that this is, it's, it's like a knitting pattern. You know, they just, they get to the end of a row and they turn and come back again. And, and you know, we, we need to waking up and understand that the you know when you say to people the plan is to reduce the world's population to a fraction of its present amount you know that, that they're not joking this is this is what the plan is and the only people that can stop it are the millions and billions of us withdrawing our consent and and organizing our lives outside i'm reading an amazing book actually i've, I've just finished it called The Secret Origins of the First World War, uh, about the banking, you know, the Wall Street and the the, 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 the the banks in the city of London and the big power, you know, these, these incredibly wealthy people who funded, they fund both political parties in every country. You know, we think that there's a difference between Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael. The same people are paying them, both of them. They're pretend, it's all a pretense, it's all a game of of. of chess where they don't even bother to change they don't even bother about the colours you know, it's just nonsense these people fund the two sides of every conflict there's as you, I'm sure you're aware a huge conversation now about the Irish constitution uh, there may have been you know a two language constitution but there probably never was uh, any republic uh, there probably never was I mean the, the title of the president of Ireland is still the viceroy and the, the carpet in Leinster House is still blue. And the the Articles of Agreement for a Treaty ran out in December the 5th of this year. Um, you know, there, there's 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 a lot of very strange things going on. For example, the 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 not the licenses, but the emergency youth authorization for the JAGs from the six counties of the north of Ireland came not from the, the Committee of Safety of Medicines in England. They only legislated for the for Britain. The North of Ireland came from the European, uh, the European Medicines Authority, which is the same as the 26 counties. So it looks as if there's some political shenanigans going on about the border and that, that the whole of Ireland may very well be back into some sort of a Commonwealth arrangement. Um, and, and uh, inside of Europe, obviously, which means that, that there is no independence. I mean, for a nation which had got its independence after, you know, the the, 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 the war of independence and, and, and the civil war and all of that, to then join the, the United States of Europe, uh, I, I just, I mean, that as, a, as an Irish Republican, I could never understand that. And indeed, when I was in Sinn Féin, they were vehemently opposed to European integration, and now just they can't, on that, can't get well, of it. Did you seen the the corruption that that the, was it the vice president of the European said six hundred thousand in uh, in bribes from Qatar or whatever? Like so that's the, and it's it's globalism as well. It's kind of you know it, it's yeah. and none of them people are elected. The Ursula van der Leyen, not, not at all. Well, her husband's a big. He's a big drug guru, isn't he? He's 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 a big shot in one of the the drug companies. And you saw it in, in, in the upper echelons of, of the British Tory party, sure, all of the PCR franchises and the mask mandates and all of that stuff that just appeared overnight. Those big contracts, that, that, you know, just they just passed them around to their mates. The same thing happened here as well. I mean, you have Mary Lou McDonald's connection family are again, you know, saturated in, in pharmaceutical uh, companies and contacts. Uh, if they are, I, I just don't understand how people can have so little regard for their country and for their 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 fellow nationals. 
that they would behave in this way. I, I, I just find it in, incomprehensible. I really do. So, um, yeah, the 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 politics is, is uh, you know, I, as I say, I was elected as a political representative. I, I told Darien Cervantes to council in March 2020, a week before St. Patrick's Day, that they didn't have to cancel the St. Patrick's Day parade, that we knew exactly what we were dealing with and that this was a, a disease with of almost no threat to, to younger people and that it was predominantly disease of people in their 80s with, with four comorbidities. And uh, I thought back in those days, I thought all I had to do was, you know, tell people and they would all say and show them the evidence. And it they would all say, oh, obviously she knows what she's talking just, about. And just on let's have the St. Patrick's Day parade. Just on this and as well, because what annoyed me through it as well was 